We're back with another one. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We're back with the boxing clinic talking about final thoughts on, um, you know, Sork. That's what I'm going to call him. I think he's from Thailand. His name just too long and difficult to pronounce. Um, taking on Roman Gonzalez, Chocolito, who's number eight or nine on my pound for pound list, I believe. But he's on there in the top 10 um, as well. Um, you know, both may wait. 114 and a half for Chocolito Gonzalez. 115, I believe that's the limit but for Sorek. And also, don't forget tonight, I made a mishap. I thought it was on Bounce TV. It was supposed to be on Showtime. Bounce, now it's back on Showtime. David Benavidez is looking to become the youngest super middleweight champion versus Mayweather promotion fighter Ronald Garvel. 10.05 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Showtime tonight. I believe Peter Quillen is fighting as well. Um, don't quote me on that one, but I think he is uh, making his return. But uh, talking about the super flyweight main event of a triple header on HBO. HBO putting a lot of stock into the little guys. And you got to talk about the little guys. They're very exciting. And uh, gets lost in the shuffle. Sometimes get lost in my shuffle, but got to shine a light on them. You know, the first fight, you know, sort you know, beat Gonzalez. You know, people want to rob Robbie when their favorite fighter lose. And, you know, got, people are so can't be objective, man. You know, um, and it is what it is. But, um, you know, when their favorite fighter is, uh, you know, coming for, oh, he's winning, he's winning. But another guy's coming for, oh, he was, it wasn't effective pressure. You know, people, you know, change the skill based on who their favorite fighter is. Um, I was there, Madison Square Garden, you know, that weekend, man. Love New York, great fight town, great town to visit to go see a fight in. Sorg beat his ass, in my opinion. He beat him. Um, too strong. You know, Gonzalez fought the wrong fight. Um, you know, he tried to, you know, he let Sorg put him on his back foot, and he just tried to bang it out with Sorg. Sorg dropped him to the body in the first round. Continued to hurt him multiple times in the fight. And then Gonzalez, you know, people thought he had some success pressing Sorg, but Sorg was able to, you know, you know, be on the back foot, counter, you know, catch, you know, shoot, deliver, and and, and still beat Gonzalez to the punch. Now, if Gonzalez is going to win this fight, um, boxing scene article also said this that he's going to have to fight smarter, and he's going to use some angles and, and try to outbox this guy because he's not going to be able to. You know, be on the back foot, moving straight back in the line and let this guy bully him like he did the first time. So kind of use some angles, use his boxing ability, uh, use his smarts, his quicks, and it's just his superior attributes that he do, does have. Um, you know, Sorek, you know, he, he, he can beat Gonzalez going forward or, you know, counter him on the back foot. He proved that he's a bigger, stronger guy. Gonzalez thought, you know, later in that fight he can power drive this guy moving forward and beat him, but he can't do that. You know, he's not that big and strong at this weight class. So he got to use some more finesse. Instead of trying to overpower these bigger, stronger guys, and I think that's his, that's going to be his issue. Um, breaking in a new coach, I think he's from Japan. His handlers gave him this coach, and uh, you know, hopefully they can form that rapport and that camaraderie very quickly. Um, but he got the box, man. He got the box and, and use angles, and circle around, and stop moving back in a straight line. You know, that's that was his issue in the first fight. Um, he let this guy bully him and dictate what he want to do, and then you know, come forward and mix it up some. I think some body work, more body work this time is in the cards for him. Um, and if this guy celebrated this victory too hard, um, then that's another way Gonzalez can get an edge. But I think this guy is just the real deal, sort. And he wants to prove that in the first fight was no fluke. And, um, you know, he beat a pound-for-pound pound fighter. People act like it didn't happen. You know, they crying wolf and shit like that because, you know, HBO's uh, one of their darlings lost. And in my opinion, the other darling, Gennady Glufkin, lost to the same night to Daniel Jacobs. But it is what it is. We know what the politics about. Um, but uh, Sorg is a good fighter, man. Um, you know, Gonzalez went over there, uh, went uh, went in there with him, underestimating him, looking at his record, thought he was an average fighter. But when you're moving up in weight, you got to respect everybody until you get acclimated to the weight class. I think he moved up one weight class too much for his style. So he's going to have to box and use his angles. But eventually, I think he's going to um, pretty much fall back in form to an aggressive fighter. Um, you know, all balls, no glory. That's going to be a style, and like I said before, I think Sork is going to get the 10th round stoppage. Um, wouldn't shock me if Gonzalez won, man. He's a talented guy, but hopefully pride don't get in the way, and they got the right game plan because if he thinks he's going to bully this guy and go forward and beat this guy, not going to happen. You know, this guy's probably going to put in way more body work than he did the first time. He put a lot of body, a lot of body work in the first time. And he's probably more prepared, more determined, very confident. They got to break that confidence. You know, he probably feels that Gonzalez can't touch him. You know, he already beat him. And he beat him on the East Coast. He trying to beat him on the West Coast. And Gonzalez, this is going to really show us um, if he has, is if, if he's a really, really, really uh, a great one. He come back from a loss and, and whoop this guy, and you know cement your status and try to fight Inu Ui, the monster that's fighting on the undercard. You know this is going to be a fabulous card, man. If you ain't doing nothing, 
uh, Saturday night. Check it out. Probably come in about 10, 11 o'clock. Um, it is on the West Coast, Carson, California, StubHub Center. Uh, final thoughts, weigh-in thoughts, but we gone.